The trend right now in the watch industry is smaller. Watch brands keep on coming out with smaller and smaller watches, and it seems like they keep on getting smaller. Now we're talking about 34 millimeter and 36 millimeter watches coming out from major brands. When it feels like just a few years ago, they were doing 42 to 47 millimeters. What's going on in the watch industry today that is actually influencing smaller watches? When I started collecting watches about 25 years ago, a men's watch was between 36 millimeters and around 40 millimeters. And it didn't matter if that was a dress watch or a sports watch, they were all in that range, just about. And most people went to a department store to buy their watches. That's where people went to actually buy watches. And if you looked in the case, there were no watches over 40 millimeters. If there were, very few were available. Then something started happening in the early to mid 1990s. Larger watches started becoming more popular. Brands like Panerai really popularized the 44 millimeter plus watch. And dare I even say it, made them cool. And because of that popularity, many brands jumped on board. Think about the 50 Fathoms. That became a 45 millimeter watch. Even the Holy Trinity jumped on board with the Royal Oak, the Royal Oak Offshore, obviously a very large watch, almost pushing the limits of normal wrists. These are large watches and they didn't get any smaller for a very long time. Do you like watches? Are you like me? Do you never stop talking about watches? Is your family sick and tired of hearing you talk about watches all the time? Well, if so, you're in luck. WatchCrunch is a new platform for people like you and me. A safe place where you can talk about watches without all the BS that you find on other platforms. So if you're looking to talk about the latest releases from your favorite brands, or maybe you want to talk about the differences between the Value 7753 and the ETA 2824, then you found your new home. WatchCrunch is free, easy, and troll free. Check out the link in the description below to find one of the recent threads that I started on WatchCrunch. Come join the discussion and me on WatchCrunch.com. And at the time, it seemed like the motto of the watch industry was the bigger, the better. And it didn't matter if it was good for all wrists. It just meant that watches from most brands were getting bigger and bigger. And it didn't seem like there was an end to the size that these watches can go. However, recently in the last four or five years, we've seen many watch brands start downsizing their cases. Whether they're testing the waters, they're coming out with watches that are smaller, or alternative sizes to existing watches that are in a larger size. So another example, that 50 Fathoms, they're in 45 millimeters, but they keep on coming out with limited editions that are in 40 millimeters. So that gives you an idea. They're sort of testing the waters, and a lot of brands are coming out with smaller sized versions of their popular larger watches. But I think we're about to experience a switchback. And what I mean by that is a lot more brands are coming out with sub 36 millimeter watches. Yes, many brands are coming out with 36 millimeter watches and smaller. And I'm not the only one who is seeing this. Obviously, a lot of other people are making comments on this. And in fact, the Wall Street Journal just did an article about this exact subject. They spoke about the shrinking of the men's watch. And they titled that article, Honey, I Shrunk My Watch, The Rise of Tiny Men's Timepieces. So in all honesty, I don't think this is a bad thing. I think it's a good thing. For a while, extra large watches will not be in style and maybe they will never be in style again. And I have to say, that may not be a bad thing. And perhaps Hollywood will be the driver behind this small watch trend sub 36 millimeters. And that's not really a bad thing either. If it's fashion driven, then that is okay as well. It was popular back in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Why can't it be popular now? A small watch is not a bad thing and it's really nothing to be scared of. I actually wear watches 34 millimeters up to 44 millimeters. So I have a very big range of watches that I wear and I really welcome all different size of watches into my collection. And especially if you're looking at vintage watches, 44 millimeters is way too big. 
34 millimeters is really a normal size for a vintage watch. However, when it's all said and done, I think we're gonna end up in that mid-range section, that 36 to 40 millimeter range. Back in the 1990s, like I said, when I first started collecting very early on, the watches were in that range. They weren't huge, they weren't small, they were sort of medium. And I think there will be big watches, there will be very small watches. However, that mid-range is where most of the manufacturers will fall just to satisfy most wrists. And I think that makes a lot of sense. However, in the meantime, I'm gonna enjoy the discounts that I'm able to get on larger watches because I still can wear larger watches. That's kind of what my channel is about, looking for bargains. So I think there's gonna be a lot of bargains out there in the large watch section. Obviously, if you don't like larger watches, you're not gonna be able to find bargains in that large watch section. Uh, but who knows what the future brings, and of course, you know, a great vintage watch is always a great way to go because they're always small and they're affordable, so why not? Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. What do you think of this subject? What do you think about shrinking watches? Obviously, people's wrists aren't shrinking. It's just the watches that are shrinking and a lot more people are interested in smaller watches for one reason or another, and I have to say for myself, I used to have larger watches in my collection. Now when I'm looking at a watch, if it's 40 millimeters, that is probably my sweet spot. I really like a 40 millimeter watch. It fits me perfect, I find it comfortable, and sort of my mindset has changed. I'm willing to admit it uh, that I was sort of a large watch fan, and now I am not, and that's fine. Anyway, our tastes change over time, and so, that's what happened. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. I wanna hear from you guys. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon, it is super helpful for the channel. And I very much appreciate it. I have some links in the description. One of those links is to Whatnot. If you click that link and sign up for Whatnot, you get a $10 credit towards any purchase on Whatnot. And they have tons of auctions for watches. And it is a really great place to buy and sell watches. That's where I buy and sell most of my watches these days. So I definitely recommend you check it out. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.